Hello, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Let's Become the Obsidian Sentinel. So, as you can tell, I can't actually speak. Super Game Busters asked if I would uh, mind including some commentary like I did in the first episode, so um, I'm going to be doing that again now. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like the amount of commentary I'm doing and what I'm saying and all that sort of thing. Um, we're going to be, uh, you'll, tell, you'll notice that I get distracted really easily when I do commentary, and, uh, so I, I can't be held responsible for what I say or don't say. Hope you like that. Anyway, so, uh, we're outside Bleak Falls Barrow here, as you can tell, and we are attempting to freeze people to death, which is probably not a good, di good idea against Nords. Then again, it might work. I'll try to comment um, on anything I find interesting. I'm actually not doing this commentary live, because I already recorded this beforehand. So uh, let me know what you think. That is a lot of blood. I am using um, Enhanced Blood Textures mod, which I... I used to use um, Crimson Tide, but I found like that was just massive pools of blood, but the uh, Enhanced Blood Textures does some really nice splatter effects. So if you are running on PC, I would highly recommend that mod. Long loading scene. Looting. Exciting. Nobody's there, man. Ooh. Yeah, I'm using, um, locational damage as well, which is really cool. Sometimes you, like, hit somebody and you're not expecting them to die, and all of a sudden they, like, bleed to death from a wound to the head or something. One thing I was kind of surprised with this build is that uh, the respite perk isn't taken in restoration, which would be really handy in some of these battles where you can uh, restore your stamina. But I guess we can always, uh, as we get stronger and able to withstand blows, you don't really have to uh, bash. Um, opponents and Never prevent them from come. doing damage to you. You can just sort of block their attacks and and then use your stamina mainly for power attacks. But we'll see how that goes as the build develops. That's it. That's all you've got. Victory is yours. I yeah, there's an example of the guy bleeding to death with uh, locational damage. My wife was saying that she really likes the uh, the lighting and effects that I have set up. It kind of looks like a movie, or gotta agree, it does look rather cinematic. Skeevers sneaked out of nowhere. Yes. 
Someone's coming. I'm coming to save you, my friend. Frostbite spider. Yeah, yeah kill it. Unfortunately, I don't have any spell absorption yet. Otherwise, I could just absorb its uh, spit and whatnot. Use that against it. Using frost on a frostbite spider. <laughs> There's nothing better than that. Getting poisoned. I don't think um, using healing and frostbite at the same time was that great of an idea. Not my level of uh, magicka. And running out of stamina. I make a lot of mistakes in this battle. Uh-oh. Oh! Meh. Let's try that again. Uh-oh. I'm already in trouble. <laughs> Heal. Wish I didn't have to do that fight. This fight with that guy screaming in the background. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Again. Ah. Alright, third time's the charm. Throw some frost up. Got plenty of magic right now. Not enough stamina. Oh, no, not again. Try number four. will work. I th I'm pretty sure I beat it this time. Uh-oh. Things almost went really bad again there. Me. 
Ow. A complete miss and lost all my stamina again. Now let's just breathe here, regenerate a little bit. You can do it, man. Got him down to one third health. Oh yeah, he's getting down. I guess that's a she, isn't it? I mean, there are eggs everywhere. This is it. This is it. Yes. Now for this guy. I am not going to chase you into the next room. Give me that golden claw. Let's just quick save before we die again. I yeah, don't want a two-handed axe-wielding guy to sneak up on us from behind. Start whacking away. Like that guy. But he only had a one-handed sword, so... Restoration is a uh, is very important in the beginning stages. Uh, I better back off from this guy's thing. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well done. Well done. One by two guys. Like you're doing right now. Ah. Oh. Almost good. Oh, almost ran right into his sword. <laughs> Why did he just stand there waiting for me to come after him? Yeah, quick saving before going in against the first restless, restless Draugr is a good idea. Since I'm not um, resistant to the uh, to the magic, I'm trying uh, to bash his magic attacks and then just block his other attacks 
His, uh, his physical attacks, as you can see. Oh, didn't equip my sword. <laughs> I mean, my shield. Yeah, let's just level up right in the middle of a fight. That was a much better use of the uh, of the uh, level up than the previous time. Hope you guys can see in the dark there. I can almost not see this during the game, so I brightened it slightly in Vegas. Now, if you just step on that and die, no. such luck. Yeah, just kind of letting him do so. Oh, arrows. You're not gonna outlive me. Let's not get chopped in half by the swinging blades. So myself. Oh, that wasn't. Got to level up. It's leveling pretty quickly. friends not to sneak up on me. That was a horribly timed block. Oh, I almost died. doing here? Oh, right. The recording was kind of lag, was getting more and more laggy. So I decided to turn, uh, I thought I'd turn locational damage off and see if that helped. Didn't. Um, turned out to be my Kodak. So I changed that. Now in future episodes, it'll, it should be a little bit better. Okay, so we're, what, more than halfway, three quarters of the way through Bleak Falls now? 
actually. I think we're exactly... We're almost 20 minutes. No, 21 minutes in, so... This uh, video is about 30 minutes long. So at this stage, the Obsidian Sentinel is basically a heavy armored sword and board character with some uh, healing. I mean, I've used a little bit of frost magic, right? But uh, other than that, that's basically all he is right now. Once we get to the Atronach Stone, then things are going to improve a bit and I'll be able to start fighting mages properly, because I mean that's basically what he is, right? A mage hunter. Lots of health. Is it coming? That bash didn't do anything. Heavy armor. I really like the effect that uh, Realistic Lighting Overhaul mod has. Dungeons look so much better. Unfortunately, sometimes there's some dark spots where you basically can't see anything at all. You're like, I need night eye, or uh, mage light, or candlelight, or a torch, or something. Oh. Sliced and diced. Quick healing. I should probably allow some of these guys to actually hit me to level up my block and uh, and heavy armor a little bit. Uh oh, trouble. That was close. Yeah, you can brag all you like there, dude. That was a good cutscene. And level up again.
Yeah, let's put some more damage into our sword. It's tricky deciding, you know, the order to put your perks in, in the beginning. I definitely think that uh, putting two perks into restoration in the beginning was uh, was a good idea, though. And then everything else kind of spread stuff around. I think that kind of makes sense. Okay, one guy to go. Interesting. I do not want to get hit by his uh, frost enchanted sword. Now let's break out some frost magic on him. too much of my magic. Oh, how did I completely bypass that? But I don't want to use up all my magic on uh, with frost resistance and I can't heal myself. Oh. Don't take an unblocked hit from that thing. like that, right there. I shouldn't have done that. Burn through all my magic up and get hit. In the end, I guess it all worked out okay. He's almost down. And there we have it. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode 3 with uh, commentary. And uh, please feel free to comment in the... Uh, or voice your opinions in the comments below. Let me know if you liked the amount of commenting I did and uh, what you'd like to see. Alright, so we'll see you next time.